In this video, we're going to be using three, four, five soap company tight lines and the red imp again, which I've rehoned on the Cotty slash arc combination. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me again today. I really appreciate it. And if it's your first time here, I hope you'll consider subscribing below. Okay, so today we're going to be using three, four, five soap company tight lines. Uh, I really like 345 Soap Company. They are committed to value, which I really appreciate. This is a 5.8 ounce tub, which comes to you for $13.95 or on our cost chart, an exceptional $2.40 per ounce. The ingredients on this, there's some great ingredients that I really like. We'll show them to you right there. Uh, some of the things I like, shea butter, cocoa butter, coconut butter, lanolin, yogurt, nice ingredients for a soap of this cost, in my opinion. The scent on this, it is a Creed Aventus inspired scent, which I love. And Glenn Helley, of all people, really dislikes Creed Aventus. I mean, I know people are tired of Creed Aventus, but man, it's a great scent. Oh, man, oh, man. Out of the tub, I'd say this is about a 4 to 4.5. When I lathered it, it sort of woke up a little bit. But out of the tub, it's slightly under medium, I would say. And the label which you see right there, was painted by John, uh, John of 345 Soap Company's mother in honor of his uncle who taught him a lot about uh, fly fishing. So you see the trout there and the flies. So it's, it's really cool. I really like that. The razor, as mentioned before, Red Imp well, 133. I rehoned this on the, on the Cotty and the Arkansas Stone. So we'll try it today and see how it feels. And we may uh, pause the camera and go try the... Uh, Try the old nano cloth uh, in between just to see if it's really making a lot of difference or not. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, so let's get started. Oh, I've, I've been forgetting to do this. Spartacus, I'm going to start and sanitize the platform with a little Spartacus and just get some more scent going. Why not? It's fun and it can't hurt, or at least as I see. Oh, yeah, that smells great. Uh, Creed Aventus scent. This is, uh, of course, Ariana and Evans. If it's still available, I know Pete said he was going to stop doing dupes. Uh, so get this while you can if you want it. Okay, now let's get into it with a little misting action here. The, the Glen Helly uh, mister. I should fill that with Creed Aventus in Glen's honor. Okay, the brush today, AP Shave Co. White Wizard. Not expensive. It's a little over 20 bucks, like maybe 25 bucks or ish. From Canada, cashmere, 30 millimeter knot, very, very nice. And as you can see, the soap has a nice sheen on it. Again, we're going to try as much as we can to get out of the habit of talking about things that can't be measured, like, you know, the exact amount of slickness or whether this is slicker than something else or not. You want to focus on what you can see and reasonably assume based on your observations, but we'll certainly tell, tell uh, you our opinion. There are things like scent that's entirely subjective, but I don't want to go down the road continually of talking about bases and how one is relative to another in terms of qualities that just cannot be measured. And so let's focus on how this soap uh, works for us today or how we work with the soap, more important. What is our performance going to be today? And we hope it will be good. And I hope I've done a good job honing this razor. After I used it last time, I thought, you know, I can do better. And uh, so we have put a Cotty Arca Edge on it. And we've been enjoying that combination. So I figure let's see how it went. It feels pretty good so far. Wow, that feels nice, actually. So far. But again, on these initial few swipes... On the cheeks, I find that it always feels pretty good. It's not until we get down on the neck. But honestly, that feels pretty good. <laughs> and so we'll see how it goes. But I'm tempted, based on the way that's feeling so far, not to hit the nano cloth, the diamond paste. Because when I do make a, a an edge that I really appreciate, I typically like to keep it. And I'll tell you right now, 
this is the best edge I've had on this Red Imp to date. Because when this Red Imp, uh, when I initially received this Red Imp, it was in rough shape. It was, it had a big frown in the middle of the blade. I had to take off a lot of metal to get it even, more or less bread knife it. Um, because that, that inside of the blade, there was just a big frown. And uh, I'm pretty happy with how this is shaving. Um, I gotta say, Doug Bear and Dr. Matt are the ones who have, uh, that I've seen talking about the the Codical Arkansas combination. The Codical being a, a stone that tends to produce a smooth edge that doesn't feel uber sharp. And then the Arkansas very hard. So honing on the Codical and, and getting that smoothness and then refining it and polishing it and maybe giving it just a little more juice on that really hard Arkansas, um, my particular Arkansas is a, it's called an Arkansas uh, Surgical. There are different grades of Arkansas. I'll link the one I have below if you're interested. You can get them on Amazon. They're not uh, crazy expensive. I think the one I got was somewhere around a hundred bucks. Not quite, maybe, but the prices on those things fluctuate. So you never know what it's gonna cost, you know, give or take a few bucks generally, but that felt really good on that first pass, so. I would say we're quite happy with that overall, so I'm gonna leave that blade alone, and we'll continue to use it, and if we feel like testing it on that final pass, testing the uh, the nano cloth with the diamond, 16K diamond paste, we will, but so far, the edge is actually feeling very nice and comfortable, and I don't really see a need to do it um, because I'm enjoying the edge. I, I tell you, the that Cutty Art combination has been winning me over. Um, but man, is that Arkansas a hard stone. It really is. Okay, I hope everybody's doing great this Sunday morning. Um, you know, my attitude about it is if I wake up and, and I have a chance at another day, I'm always happy. And of course, I always tell you that on Monday if I remember, <laughs> but uh, I just try to remain thankful for the blessings. And okay, we didn't talk much about the soap. The soap's doing everything it needs to do, which is essentially provide that slickness to allow that razor to do its work or to allow me to do the work with the razor. And it is doing that, it lathers well. I think you can Reasonably assume that based on what you see here. Again, um, I'm a strong advocate in you trying things. And, and also, you know, don't watch only me. Um, certainly watch some other people and listen to what they have to say. And take it into consideration. Um, and, but ultimately, please make your own decisions. But I'm going to try to make an effort, a concerted, concerted effort on going to try to steer clear so much of making uh, making performance claims that just can't be validated. So I'll show you what's happening here and then you can decide based on what you see. Um, and that's sort of what we want to do. Okay, now let's see how we do here. Let's remind ourselves to try to keep the angle Shallow. This is where you really feel whether the blade is, is doing well or not for me. And it's doing well. I think. The with the grain pass always feels pretty comfortable for the most part. Now, if you have a bad edge, you can immediately tell. But um, on this pass, the going against the grain there, and actually it's kind of across the grain because the grain is running on the neck, sort of east to west. Um, you can always tell more about what's going on. I don't know if you folks noticed this, but one of the things that I try to do when I'm doing these videos is I try to continue talking throughout the process, even when I'm 
straight razor shaving. So you'll watch a lot of folks, and I, there's nothing wrong with this at all, but it's always my goal to keep the conversation moving at all times. So I try not to have too much dead air. It is a personal goal of mine. Again, this is not being critical of, of folks who who don't do it, but I try to keep the conversation going, and I hope you appreciate that. Even when this blade is moving around on my face, I try to keep it moving. Because it already takes 20 minutes, so you might as well fill that 20 minutes <laughs> with some conversation and not just hearing me, you know, hearing the razor move or hearing me breathe or whatever. And I know you do hear me breathe. But I do like to keep it, keep it moving. And I watch some people and they'll remain very quiet when they're on certain parts of their face. And uh, if you are a straight razor shaver, I think that's the safest approach is to not be yapping a lot when you have the sharp steel, whether you're using a straight razor, shavette or whatever, it's best not to do what I'm doing here, which is yapping as I'm uh, dragging the steel. But I do try, try to keep it moving as much as possible. There are some times where I'll be quiet to avoid uh, getting cut. But <laughs> So watch my videos and watch other people. And, and I think you'll see, I hope you'll appreciate the effort there at least. We try to keep it moving. I just don't like dead air um, because we're... You know, we have the audience there, so I figure we might as well continue to to engage with the audience via some sort of conversation because, you know, once you learn to once you learn to straight razor shave, let's say you're watching this because you're interested in straight razor shaving. Once you learn to straight razor shave and you learn the technique, now maybe you're coming back for thoughts on products or the conversation. And so I appreciate you watching, especially if you're, you're still here at you know, 12, 13 minutes. I really appreciate you. I want you to know that. It means a lot to me um, that people come, there are folks who come every single day and watch roughly 20 minutes. I try to keep it 20 minutes and under. Sometimes I go a little over, but um, I really appreciate you. And I try to say that as much as I can. Sometimes I forget. It really does mean a lot. And uh, honestly, I never thought folks would be interested. When I first started making a channel, it was with the idea of helping friends and new people and just sharing my thoughts. Because a lot of people just weren't that nice <laughs> at the time. And so I, I thought I was doing it for a relatively small group of people. And then it sort of caught on and I'm really grateful. And one of the things I want to mention is, if you're not subscribed, I have a 5,000 subscriber giveaway coming up. It's a good one. And so subscribe. Let's get that to 5K. On my old channel, on my original channel, there are 8,000 some subscribers. Um, but when I created this one, because I want to just brand it under my initial CDB, it's still a little under 5K. So if you would, please subscribe. If you appreciate the content, I appreciate you and I would appreciate uh, your subscription very much. Thank you. I really do enjoy and appreciate that. All right. As you can see here, no problem with the lather. Again, believe what you see. And I think you can reasonably, reasonably, based on what you're seeing here, arrive at a point that this makes a pretty good lather. <laughs> I don't think it's a hard uh, jump to make there. Okay, let's finish this one out strong. And let's get on our way to a wonderful Sunday. I wonder if you guys have any plans this Sunday morning. Are you doing anything special? Going to church? Having a family get together or anything like that? It is fall time here. Uh, I'm in Charleston. West Virginia, and uh, th the weather has been getting cool in the night, say, down in the 
it's been as low as 38 like last week and, and in the 30s and I'm like oh I'm not a, a fall fan um, I do love the the fall colors of the leaves and all but what happens here I don't know if this is where you are if you have seasons like we do um what happens is it looks very beautiful for about two or three weeks with all the colors and then the leaves fall and everything looks brown and it looks like a nuclear bomb went off and everything in sight that was a plants and trees are dead other than the evergreens. And so for me, that's not enjoyable. I like the spring and summer, especially, uh, you know, I love summer, but spring when things are coming back to life, that invigorates me, you know, just, it makes me feel just that sign of life, the the flowers starting to to come up, the the trees blooming. I love that sign of renewal, you know. And I realize you wouldn't have that if not for the fall, but I'm just not a fall. I'm just not a huge fan of fall. Uh, I know a lot of people are. My mom is, and so she really loves the colors and the change in the weather, and then. She, you know, she actually likes the, she likes the uh, winter as well. She likes to see the snow. Um, I like to see it. It is pretty, but I don't want a steady diet of it. It just, you know, it's a hassle. Becomes a pain to drive. Although, you know, here in Charleston, we don't get that much. Where I grew up, we got a lot more. Um, in Beckley, it was, the elevation was a lot higher than it is here. It's a couple thousand feet. Now that's, that's still low compared to like, uh, Denver or something, but there was a lot more snow just an hour from here. It can be dramatic depending on the elevation. And so Beckley, where I grew up, uh, they get quite a bit more snow than we do. And it's only an hour away. But I'm hoping for a mild winter where it's not too cold and there's not too much snow. So we shall hope. We shall hope we don't have to deal with a lot of snow. Just makes it hard. Man, that was nice. The edge, I'm pretty happy with this. Do I think I can improve it? Yes, I think I can improve every edge that I put out, but this was nice. This was nice. A very enjoyable Sunday shave. And I hope that you all will have a very enjoyable Sunday shave as well. Stand by while we uh, rinse the face and then we'll come back and get into the pose. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back here with the magic made by witches. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber, if you're curious. And off cam, we use the PAA Allen Block with Dry Dock. Still holding up very, very well. Very little stinging on the face, so the edge was fine, and I think we did a pretty good job today. So today, the soap, three, four, five, some, three, four, five soap company, tight lines, really, really good soap, good value. I liked it a lot. Uh, check out three, four, five soap company if you have not. Great guy, John, he's selling at very reasonable prices. I love to support artisans like this. The blade was the Red Imp, I believe that's 133, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, 133, rehoned on the Kodoko and Arc, and it was quite good. We enjoyed that, and we shall finish things off today with Spartacus from A&E. The brush was uh, AP Shave Co. White Wizard with the 30 millimeter cashmere knot, which I enjoy, and let us finish today with some of this wonderful Spartacus, which smells like Creed Aventus from uh, Ariana and Evans. All right, let's go. Oh, and just like that, we've started out our day in an excellent fashion, and we are going to smell great, unlike Glenn Helly, who doesn't like creative industry. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.